Meanwhile, strong to severe storms are moving into the area. Meteorologist Jason Michael here now tracking our tornado watch. Hi, Jason. Hi there, Lena. I think it's also important at this time of the year to really kind of go back to the basics and establish the who, what, when, where, and why. So this is what we're going to be talking about here. What's catching our attention across Northeast Ohio right now is that tornado watch through 11 p.m. for this evening. As of right now, we only have three of our counties in our western areas under that tornado watch. You can see this Erie, also Huron and Richland counties. Does this mean that energy will not manifest in other areas? No, it does not. But these are the three counties that we're watching right now. So let's talk about the time frame. The wind, 6 to 8 p.m. is what we're looking at as far as our, our western counties here. Once we move towards the Cleveland metro area, this is sort of our 7 to 9 p.m. These are not hard stops. This is just sort of a generali generalization of this timeline. Eastern areas. Now through about 8 to 10 p.m. where we start to kind of really downgrade our severe weather risk, but it, it will likely still be prevalent all across Northeast Ohio, but mainly in our western areas. The effects, so this is what we're going to talk about right now, damaging winds. So we're going to elevate that to the medium to high uh, frame. Large hail is a possibility. That's low to medium tornado risk, albeit a, li a little bit more on the lighter side, but still a prevalent risk. Again, given that tornado watch. Why is this all happening? So we have a clash of air masses. We have lots of heat out there. We have lots of buoyant air mass. This is a frontal boundary that is going to be pushing through and where we're already beginning to see out towards the Sandusky region is some sunshine. Sunshine is not a good thing when we're tracking severe weather. So this is what we're going to be focused on for the duration of the evening as this frontal boundary pushes on through. It is not going to race through. It is really just kind of going to meander into the region. But again, our tornado watch in effect for our, our western counties, Erie, Huron, and also Richland counties through about 11 p.m. for this evening. So let's roll the clock forward here and kind of show you exactly what's going to happen here. This is about 8 p.m. Again, that line is beginning to push on through. Temperatures still elevated in the mid to upper 70s for some areas, and this will likely be a broken line moving through. So this means there's going to be clusters of storms moving through the uh, throughout the region. That south wind still prevalent uh, in the overnight hours past midnight. We still got to have uh, a generalization of some scattered variety type garden variety type showers still moving through, but also a possibility of some rumbles. We are not done yet. Once we get into Monday, there is still more rain and rumbles are going to be likely across the region, but outside of that severe weather territory. We'll carry it through the rest of the week, but also hone in a bit more on what's going to happen the rest of the evening into the overnight Lena coming up in that full forecast. All right, Jason, you guys have told us this threat was coming. We know mm. you'll stay on top of it. See you in just a bit.